What is up guys, Poldu here, and welcome back to some more Titan Souls. So the first three episodes were in the first uh, recording session, and loading back in the game, it tells you how many deaths you've had so far, which I think is really cool. I'm really interested to see how many deaths we'll have by the end of this, but we've killed six bosses, and we've had 45 deaths. And I really hope you guys are enjoying the format I'm using for this game. Um, you know, just kind of... We we learn the boss, we get a gist of what we're supposed to do, and then it's just death montages from there on out. And I'm hoping, you know, it'll get more retention rate, because I don't think either of them were longer than, like, 15 minutes. I think they were under 15 minutes. I don't remember how I got here, but this is the bottom. So we're gonna have to find a new place. I want to stay in this area. I don't want to move to that lava place yet. Okay. Oh, go up here. But I wonder what we're going to find today. Because I've not been watching anyone play this game. Everything so far has been completely blind. Is this the main hub? Yes, yes it is. Now... If I go step on this, is anything going to light up? No. Okay. I was just curious. So, let's go with it this way. I would love to see, like, an overview map of this place. I really would. Get a better sense of, like, where the hell I'm going, where I've been. The world is really beautiful. I mean, yeah, it's 2D. You know, there's a lot of people who complain about, oh, 2D indie game, oh, that's original. I'd like to see them do better. <laughs> because, like, yeah, this game's 2D. It's a 2D indie game. But, oh my god, it looks absolutely amazing. Okay. Have we been in here? I feel like I've been here. Maybe not. Let's see what's in here. Oh. What's all this then? Is there a boss? Or did we get to a snow area? We're in a snow area. I don't want to be here. I want... I want to explore the main, main place, so that, uh, we, like, I don't, I'm, I'm very, like, I don't know what the word is, like, I want to say sequential, but that doesn't sound right. Like, I want to clear this area before moving on to any other areas. I'm sure a lot of you understand that as well, because it's not, it's not like a thing that only I do. Plenty of people are like that. Like, those couldn't have been the only bosses here. Oh, what is this? So there's three... Okay. Is... That also, that kind of leads me to believe they're not the only ones here, are they? Because I'm not seeing anywhere else to go. Let's go back in this wooded area. Just follow the invisible wall. Please have a boss. Oh, we're just going to go to a new... So I guess... Oh... Well, we finally came across one of these, so, you know what? Let's do it. This reminds me of, like, Lost Woods. Hopefully this isn't a maze. Oh, it's a maze. Oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? 
Okay. Let me turn the sound up, because if it's Lost Woods... Does anything change when I get near? Or is it just... Oh my god. Okay, let's go north. Oh. Let's go this way. Aha! So that, I, the, my, my reasoning here for picking those, they weren't random. Uh, there were pink mushrooms by both of those. And it worked. So let's see what we got here. The giant mushroom boss. Let's take a look at our arena. Okay. Hello? Oh, here we go. Okay. So you can see... I want to hit... The pink spot. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. This one's gonna be tough because he spins. So I am unsure the best approach. We will find out. We will definitely find out. I was trying to see, like, all right, he's gonna come down right here. Can I get it, like, right off of the bat? Like, I, I mentioned in one of the episodes, I would love to see a speedrun of this game. Like, he's starting boss fight and just crushing them in no time. Absolutely be... That would be amazing to watch. I really hope someone's speedrunning this game. Are you kidding me? Oh. oh, I was trying to get around them, but I rolled right into that one. They're like spores, is what I assume they are. I mean, because we're fighting a giant mushroom, you know, fungus spores. Okay. Got this. I'll we'll be fine. Turns 45 degrees every time. Oh! If you touch the... The path of the spores, oh my lord. Okay. Oh! Okay, so every time he lands, it's a 45 degree angle. Okay. I wonder, I don't know if we just wore off, because I also ran into a path of a pink one. I wonder if there's ones that get rid of the psychedelic effect. I really like that that's a thing, like, like you're safe if you hit the spore paths. Oh, but not the spores themselves. <sighs> Hello? Okay, let's say, wait, game? <laughs> At least it's not a far walk. Okay. Let's try this again. tried. I feel like going for like the quick approach is really really viable though. Okay. 
Oh boy. Oh. Like it's not it's actually not that distorting. It's just really cool that that happens, but it's not super distorting. I'm sure there there are some people that it's really distorting to, and it may be less effective because I'm playing in windowed mode. Thought it was spinning the other way. Ugh! I don't know why I thought like I was safe. He was so close to me. <sighs> nope. Nah. Well. What? I didn't think he could reach me. Fuck. God damn it. Ah! Fuck. I thought I was gonna bounce one more time. Didn't. Fuck. Ah! Ah! I was doing so good. Mushroom down, boys. Mushroom down. Give me my arrow. Fuck you. All right, so there we are. One of the forest bosses down. And we got one to go, apparently, so hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.